Alright, uh, this is going to be just a three skull run, which uh, was supposed to be four skulls, but I made a mistake. So you can see the traps that I selected. Uh, I ch changed it up a bit from the last time I played it, but for the most part, that's this is what I chose. Uh, so first thing you got to do, of course, is barricade. And uh, t there's no uh, bombers in this round, in any of these, so go ahead and no worries about that. Go ahead, you can block that off. And uh, actually, I hesitated a lot on this first round. Uh, you gotta. I decided not to block that area off, which hurts your par time a little, but it gives you some more money to spend. Uh, I, was, I was trying to decide whether or not I should block it off or not, and I went ahead and decided not to. So uh, I guess I'll just wait for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do need to block this side off though, and as you can, well, you can't just put one in the middle because they will run beside it there. Some places it'll work where you can, unless maybe if I didn't really try positioning it special to see maybe if I pulled it out or pushed it down a little if I could, but uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, narration's going to be kind of lame this first round. <laughs> At least till I get started, because I don't really know what to say right now. I probably should have recorded narration while I was doing this, so <laughs> you wouldn't understand why I was doing this. Pretty much I'm trying to decide what I should, what traps I should use on the first round, because your money's really limited. But the first round is actually pretty easy. And the second round is all flyers, which is also pretty easy. So it's really not that critical what you do on the first two rounds here. Waves, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to throw up my lightning back there. Uh, just basically trying to get through these rounds as quick as I can to start out and get some money. Of course I would get through all the rounds quick, but uh, the purpose of this is to try and be easy. A lot of people don't make uh, Orcs Must Die videos that show you an easy way to beat a level. They're how to beat five skulls or how to uh, get a high score. They're not so. The purpose of this video is to show you a more carefree way of just getting past the level for the most part. Uh, I do have all my traps upgraded, so that kind of. If you don't have all your traps upgraded that I'm using, you know, that oh, yeah. can make a huge difference. Uh, I, uh, the first time I played through this, I didn't even use Grinder. There's not flyers yet. I guess they're a little bit later. I guess they're uh, after the break. So you just gotta kill all these. Just keep throwing up your lightning. And just keep trying to shoot them. Yeah. I was thinking the flyers were coming next, but I'm almost positive the flyers don't come until after the break. <laughs> I just put that there. I didn't really know what I was going to build. Oh no, there are flyers now. Okay. So, these are really weak to the fire. And, uh... At some point in this video, I made a really bad mistake. <laughs> I don't think it's right now. I will also be showing you a trick, which my mistake is when I failed on my trick. Uh, so here's, well, of course there's uh, the trick of recharging your mana a little faster by staying by the rift. And just doing your best to try and hit them with uh, your magic. Of course I could be doing headshots, but uh, okay. 
that's my... Yeah, you can see I got hit, but I healed really fast because I'm by the rift. All you need to worry about is the flyers on this room. So yeah, this is kind of the trick. Just stay by the rift, and none of them will go in the rift as long as you're, like, in the middle of the front. They'll all just try and attack you. So... If, as long as you're not trying to get five skulls, you can just stand at the rift and they'll just keep going at you all day long. Now I'm doing this trick to basically force them to spend the most amount of time possible uh, under that clockwork mace. And I was trying to decide where to put this. I wanted to make sure if it was going to hit them. So I, first I put it there, then I think I moved it over, then I moved it over again, then I moved it again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even. I put that springboard there, and I don't even remember if it ever got used or not. Uh, sorry about moving this around so much. <laughs> it's not really critical of what, where you put stuff and whatever. The most critical part is that you have this like little maze for the clockwork, and then later on I'm going to put up uh, a whole bunch of ballistas and a whole bunch of tar. And before I recorded this, I put up a whole bunch of springboards, like a checkerboard right here where I'm standing, alternating back and forth between tar and springboards. I need to kind of keep an eye over there, because, uh, those runners can get through. And a lot of them can come through at once. Keep an eye on the flyers. They almost got in. But I made it there in time, so they're just going to attack me instead. And I should have went for headshots right now. you're standing where I'm standing, none of the flyers will go in the rift at all, no matter what. But there are other threats just besides flyers. And I couldn't really figure out where I wanted to put this. the optimal thing would be to have those wall grinders everywhere in the entire level on every wall. <laughs> if you had unlimited money. And when you click on one of those, I recommend that you click and wait one or two seconds and click on it again. Because if you're in a hurry and you just click on it, and then you press accept a lot of times, it doesn't acknowledge it. And sometimes you can end up selecting the wrong weaver and you can't undo it once you press accept, so just uh, take an extra second or two when you're selecting the weaver. It's safer. Uh, you want to always try and hit the frost ogres with the fire. It, yeah, always. At least once. <laughs> and actually, I screwed up here. I put these up too close. I kind of thought when I stood back here, I was like, wait a minute. And I realized they're up too far. So, yeah. I was kind of mad about that. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it right now. Alright, so, uh, hit him with the fire. 
weaken him up so that because uh, they can get through that swinging mace. So you do need to be careful about that. Missed. Got him that time. I would say hit him three times with fire if you can. But uh, definitely I would at least go for one time. Minimum. Two if you can. And yeah, this is it. This is when I screw up. Uh, watch my health. Oh, well, maybe this isn't it. It's... I guess I was safe this time. Yeah. I think the next time the hunters come, I'm not standing close enough to the rift. Or, I don't know what's happening, but I end up dying. archers that Winning. just wander around. Alright, let's fix this. Get this back farther. Right there. That way, it'll hit them in there, and it will also hit the flyers. That's good. This is another pretty good place to put some. Load them up here. That way, when they're slowed down by the tar, they'll also get hit. And, uh, I'm not really sure which the best way to face this one is, because if you face it this way, it's not going to shoot as many times, because if it's going the way that I'm walking, it would have a lot longer range. But sometimes it's good to try and have your traps hit them all at the same time, so that's what I went for this time. And a good thing for me to do... There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I need my traps to reset faster. That's definitely a priority. Uh, I think I actually did that. Yeah. Took that one out too. I, yeah. Is that all? It's better to have your traps going twice as fast, or however much faster they go, than it is to have one or two more traps. That's for sure. I'm just trying to soften them up, basically, down there. Yeah. Get what I can without getting myself killed. <laughs> it's not worth dying. Uh, this might be the round I die. If not, I'm gonna quit mentioning it until it actually happens. Basically, uh... Once you have this setup over here that I have, you know, the wall grinders are just kind of like a bonus. Uh, get a bunch of those ballistas up there, and it's, with the exception of their frost ogres, it's unstoppable over there. Like, nothing can get through. See, I, I mean, I'm watching my mini-map, but I'm not even looking over there, really. Just occasionally, just in case the, for some reason the map isn't displaying correctly. Or also for a frost ogre. About halfway through this video. Um, I don't think I really need any more wall grinders, but I could use some more of these. Make sure you face these the best way. You do not want to face them the wrong way. And the first time I played, I put a clockwork mace up here, because I've seen other people do that. But I don't know. There might be a specific spot that works best, but it doesn't really seem to work that well for me. That's risky doing. <laughs> I probably don't recommend doing that. It would have been nice if I have uh, some other kind of trap too. Like maybe uh, the wall arrows on the right side of the clockwork mace. 
power of them anyways. Yeah, I didn't even use my wind belt, so I could have changed it for that. I just got the wind belt for the first few waves, just in case I ran into a problem. My original thinking previously was I can use. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't. I think I wasted a lot of time trying to put a ballista up here because I was thinking it was this other place where I put them. <laughs> what you could do, you can just click like crazy and move your mouse around a little bit, and eventually you'll get it. Just make sure it's facing the right way. This is the good place to put them right on those bottoms right there. Get like three of them there. There's some lightning down for the runners. Go bots. There we go. Um, those actually help a lot. We got a frost over. Kind of staying next to the rift. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so watch my life now. So I'm not quite sure how I died there, but I died, that's five rift points, and then that one uh, flying frozen bat thing got into the rift. So that's six rift points I lost right there. So I'm not really sure how that happened. Uh, what you can do, instead of getting the wind belt, like this one. Uh, get a decoy and put the decoy hidden. Uh, it pretty much just hide it somewhere, I guess near the rift kind of, but somewhere where the archers won't get it and none of the flying things will get it. Um, he'll go after that and that can buy you some time. Something for uh, your face. I'm using a video editor where I can't see what wave this is because That's it's gonna leave a mark. compressed to a smaller video or whatever. It's just like blocks for numbers. And I'm play putting some extra damage for me. Of course, if you want, you can block off the stairwell, like, that I missed earlier, if you want to speed them up, but if you're just trying to beat the level, and you're not trying to get a high score or five skulls, then you don't really want them to go fast, you want them to go slow, so you have plenty of time to beat the level. Yeah, I'm finding the ballistas work really well, because nothing can destroy the ballistas, unlike the archers. And when you have a whole bunch of them, I think they work just as well as archers. about the speed. Oh, and I was a little scared here, and uh, actually it wasn't this one that I was going to get hit. Keep an eye on that mini-map for flyers, for sure. Flyers and overs. Those are your two biggest threats on this, on this whole lot. Ogres can get through there sometimes before, at least before you have these ballistas up, they can definitely get through. And the flyers will go straight into the rift if they make it. If you're not watching. And 
and the hunters aren't a problem as long as you're near the rift and they don't kill you. side of the rift, like behind me right now, uh, maybe even in a hallway or some like really hard to get to area that none of the other, uh, nothing else would be able to see or get to it or fire at it. Maybe even like in that stairway behind me to the right. Um, that none of the ogres or anything's going in. Just when you're strategically placing decoys, you do not want to put them somewhere where something that you don't want to hit it will hit it. Like, you don't want archers to be standing there attacking it. Yeah, I messed up there. <laughs> but it's kind of overkill on the tar anyway. Lightning there for the runners. It's still the safety. There's some flyers. I like that the flyers can't attack the ballistas so long. See, usually the hunters are not a problem as long as you're by the rift. This is the last round, and uh, I pretty much won. <laughs> That's just for fun. Just put some extra stuff up there. I don't even really have to do anything now. It's over. I'm not even going to attack. I win! Yay! <laughs> so that's how you can beat this pretty easily, you can see. I didn't even really put that much effort into it. Uh, of course, like I said, all of my traps are upgraded. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six traps that I have that would be upgraded. And, uh, I just beat this previously with three skulls. So actually I got a high score this time. <laughs> but the last time I played I also got a high score. 